Alrighty. So this is going to be a reading for my Leos for October 31st through the 2nd of November. Thank you so much for joining me back on my YouTube channel. We're going to go ahead and get straight into your messages for the next 72 hours. Uh, keep in mind it is general, so everything I say may or may not pertain to you, okay? Leos for October 31st through November 2nd. Also, if you do want a personal reading, that information will be listed below for you to go ahead and check that out. Leo's for October 31st through November 2nd. So let's go ahead and get straight into the reading. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the overall energy. And what we have representing that, we do have the Sun card and the Empress. So for a lot of you, you could be in some happy energy uh, coming into the next 72 hours. For some of you, you could be finding out that you're pregnant. And this could be putting a smile on your face, especially if you are someone who has been planning. And you've been working towards that. I am seeing that. Now, um, for others of you, this could be happier energy that's coming in between you and possibly a parent figure. You guys could be, you know, taking some time to work on that relationship with your mother. Or for some of you, this could even be somebody who you already have kids with that you're trying to work out your relationship with. Uh, for a lot of you as well, this is happy energy because for a lot of you, you are stepping into this energy of realizing that you're growing as an individual and you're able to see like where people are trying to mess up your sense of happiness because they're miserable. So you're able to see like, look, <laughs> this person's miserable. That's why they want me to be miserable. And it's like you're able to take that perspective and grow beyond just the pettiness that may be surrounding you at moments. Um, yeah, I have the Ace of Swords as well. So for a lot of you, you could also have like some sort of new idea to get a level of abundance. For a lot of you as well, like I said, there could be um, this new... This new spark that's happening in your life that's opening up new opportunities for you as well for abundance. And like I said, just growing as an individual. So this is very awesome, Leo's. Okay. Now, when it comes to the energy surrounding your love life, we do have the hostilities card as well as the nine of pentacles. So with this, there could be some defensiveness coming in from your love life. This could be, you know, a partner that you're dealing with where you guys are having to argue with them. For others of you, this could be, you know, you feeling like the person you're dealing with is just very guarded towards you or just on edge or you have to be on edge with this person. I'm also getting a sense as well that there may be um, some, what you call it, some arguments going on between you and another person. This could be causing you to be like, look, I just don't have time for it. I'm just going to focus on myself. I'm going to focus on my money endeavors and also just taking care of myself. For some of you, you could be actually going on vacation. Um, like I said, this next 72 hours for some reason. All right. But I'm just getting a sense that a lot of you... Also, you may have a partner who may want to fight for this relationship if it's not like them being defensive. They may actually want to fight for this connection, but you may need to actually be open to it for this to actually take place because you guys may not really believe that things could be fixed, especially if you guys did have a rough patch or that things could even come together to begin with. Now, when it comes to money matters, I do have the woman holding a heart and the king. Alrighty, so yeah, so back to what I was saying. We have the woman holding a heart and the king of pentacles representing what's going on in your career. So with this, I am getting a sense that you could be, like I said, doing things or trying to do things in alignment with, with what you truly want to do in life. Like with this energy, I'm getting a sense that a lot of you 
are in this process of, like I said, doing things that are like in entrepreneurship roles, whether that's like you always wanting to open up your own metaphysical store or you becoming a spiritual advisor or you possibly wanting to do hair or something like that. I know that's like random stuff, but it's like you're doing things that are in alignment with what truly makes you happy. And with the King of Pentacles, I really feel as if a lot of you are going to, like I said, step into this energy of either working really hard to get your finances in the place where you want it to be or trying to find ways to solidify yourself in a sense to where like you're good. OK, and I don't feel like a lot of you are trying to just put your your eggs in one basket. I feel like some of you, you're working towards having several different places of income or several different streams of income, I should say. Now, when it comes to the advice I can give you for the next 72 hours, Leo, I do have the yin and yang and the two of swords. So I am getting a sense that you do need to make sure that you're getting this internal balance between your masculine and feminine energy so that you can be really going about your situations from a different or a higher perspective, I should say. Um, also with the two of swords, this is also looking at the pros and cons of situations so that you can make the best decision for you. What are certain cons that you cannot take when it comes to either going back to a relationship, going back to a job, staying at a job, whatever it may be for you. Um, but there's definitely a need for you to decide which way you want to move when it comes to either moving on with your life, um, when it comes to certain opportunities that are coming your way, for some of you even traveling. I keep seeing stuff about traveling. I'm also getting a sense as well when it comes to just newness in your life. A lot of you need to figure out whether or not you want to keep holding on to what you've been experiencing or if you want to move into a new life here. Now, when it comes to the obstacle that may affect what you have going on for the next 72 hours, I do have the door to value and I do have the king of wands. So for some of you, there may be a business decision that you want to make that may take up some money that may require some funding and you may not have the funding like that right now. This may be like a business idea that may need like $10,000 or something like that. Or this may be you wanting to, you know, do this, do that. And it's like, yeah, you know, eventually the money's going to come in, but it's like, it's not here yet for you to do what you want to do. And for a lot of you, that could be making you feel some sort of way. Um, but I feel like the struggle that may be coming up for you guys may be making a final decision about whether or not for some of you, if you should move or if you should just move on with your life and focus on your money matters. Now, let's actually talk about your love life a little bit. The energy we have surrounding that, we do have religious factors and we do have the wedding card. So with this, I'm definitely seeing that there is somebody that you guys are dating who you don't quite see eye to eye with when it comes to certain religious beliefs. Uh, you could be somebody who's into tarot and this person's not really into that. Or you could be somebody who's more on the spiritual side and this person's atheist. Or you guys just have different views of how the world is set in stone or how things kind of function. And that may be taking a toll on the connection here. For others of you, it could be like a different... Like this could be a different type of relationship. I always say this when I see this card. I think of like same-sex relationship. I think of a uh, different races or ethnicities um skin color is that all that look it doesn't even matter to me okay if you look good you look good all right but anyways um and we also have the wedding card so for some of you the person you're dealing with could be married that's for some of you if you know this person's married if you're not dealing with somebody who's already married this person may already be in a relationship or if you're already in a relationship with this person, you guys just may not be completely sure about whether or not you guys want to be together still. It's like the love's there, but I don't feel like you guys completely trust each other due to the fact that there has been deception in the past here. And there's definitely some trust issues. Um, if it wasn't some deception in this connection, there may have been deception prior and this person may have trust issues with you. But I just feel like for my single Leos, there may be new connections that may come into play. You just need to be open to it um, and not allowing yourself to um, fall victim to any old situations that you don't want to be a part of anymore. 
Now, when it comes to the guidance, we do have sexual union and it says, honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. So for a lot of you, um, it's beyond just the sexual nature of the relationship. It's beyond the bond that you guys feel in that nature. It's a need for you guys to really make sure internally you guys feel connected with each other and it's not just on a lustful level, if that makes sense. Now, the last card we are going to cover is going to be the postcard from your spirit guides. And what they really want you to know for the next 72 hours is this. And it says, Dear issue, all your prayers are heard and mirrored back to you from the unseen realms. Be grateful, praise things before they manifest, and always ask for your highest good. When you plead and beg that you will bring... No, excuse me. When you plead and be when you plead and beg, that will bring you only more reasons to plead and beg. Instead, offer your prayers and sacred gifts as a testament to your faith in a higher power. Open up and let spirit move through you and comfort you. Add meditation as a way to become empty so you will be ready to be filled with your inspired epiphanies, peace, understanding, and joy. In this moment, your prayers are being answered for the highest good of both you and all life. Sometimes what you pray for is not supposed to happen for you and your prayers will be answered in, surpri in surprising ways. At this moment, we are listening intently to your prayers and want you to know that you, you are in the highest good in our priority. Okay, so there's definitely a need for you to understand that your spirit guides really have your back. Um, There's just a need for you to make sure that you're not feeling like you're, you know, having to like, suffer per se because things are going to shift into alignment you just need to be patient with your spirit guides they're not trying to make you suffer they're not trying to put you through hell they're just shifting things into alignment right now okay so that's gonna be it thank you so much for watching this i hope you were able to take something from this and i will talk to you in the next one bye